Hello and welcome to another tips and tricks video from Switch. For this particular video, I would like to bring your attention to a very humble application in this world of various Microsoft Office or iWork. Apple macOS has a very simple app called TextEdit. As its name suggests, it allows you to create very simple documents. Literally, something like a notepad. But instead of talking about it, why not let me show you what you can do with this humble and simple application. Let's get started. Welcome to my desktop running macOS Sierra 10.12. As with all my previous uh, tips and tricks video, I'll be using a few teaching aids. One, you notice that if I click my mouse on the screen, you'll see feedback. This is to show you that I'm clicking my mouse on the area I selected. Two, you'll see me zooming in and zooming out the screen. This is to focus your attention on areas of the interface that are too small to see at full screen. With that being said, we are going to talk about the very humble and simple text editor. First of all, where to find it? The easiest way, click on spotlight icon at the upper right corner of the screen and type T-E-X-T -E edit. You'll notice that the first result is the text edit application. If you want to find it manually, go ahead, look for your applications folder and inside the applications folder, alphabetical order, text edit, just after system preferences and before time machine. Having said that, text editor is actually a very, very simple application for quite simply editing text. So if you have not installed, say, Apple's iWork, which is a keynote number pages or Microsoft Office, you can use text edit here because it's a very simple way to type something. The best part about text edit is the sheer simplicity because it's intended for simple editing of text. It has some nice and funny features that you might not really find anywhere else. For example, you could change this into vertical layout <laughs> on the off chance that you really need to type vertically. In addition to that, you can also change it to sheer plain text. So this means that if you are editing a file, perhaps it's HTML5 or HTML or PHP, you can actually use this to edit and save it in just plain TXT format. So you do have the option here of what kind of uh, text encoding, that is assuming you know what you're doing over here. But in all intent and purposes, it's similar to Notepad in Windows or WordPad in Windows. So it's your really, really average, simple text editor. Text edit actually serves also another useful purpose. Let's say, for example, I want to test out a couple of fonts. We can actually use it as a scratch pad. This means that if you have any special fonts that you would like to try, perhaps you go to your fonts and symbols and you want to try it out, you can always come here, you know, just for the sake of testing out which ones work well, find the one you want and then copy and paste it into your corresponding document in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or even in Keynote number pages. You can also try out all the fonts here as well and use it as it is. So text edit is really as simple as that. You can use it as a scratch book. You can use it for simple export printing. You can use it for editing. It's, that's all there that is to it. So with that being said, if you have never tried out text edit before, please do, do and use so because it's very simple, very usable. I also use it myself for simple text that I do not want it to be open in a Word document, perhaps I just want something simple. Text edit is what you need. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching for this very simple and quick tips and tricks. Uh, support us, like us on social media, be it YouTube, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and so on and so forth. Uh, give us some suggestion of what you want to learn in the next video. And with that being said, my name is Kant from Switch saying goodbye.